What's up, people? We are back on the lake. It is a January winter day, but let me tell you, it doesn't feel like it. It's 55 degrees, crazy. And tomorrow, it's supposed to go down to freezing. So big temperature drop. If we look at the barometric pressure episode that I had done a long time ago, you would think, oh, this could be pretty good fishing. And I'm kind of anticipating the same thing. So stick with me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chase schools and I'm gonna show you live scope. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing to find these schools. We're gonna start off with side imaging, then key in on with the live scope. And uh, yeah, you're gonna get some, see some awesome footage and it is afternoon. We've only got a couple hours to fish, so should be a good time. And let me tell you, I expect a good time. We got this big front coming through. Good time. Please do me a favor, if you like this, subscribe. 20% of my viewers are subscribers, 20%. What happened to the other 80%? Come on, people, subscribe. It's real easy. Ring the bell. All that good stuff. Putting a lot of good content out for you guys. Can't wait to bring you on the tournament trail. Let's get in the water. All right, so let's start off with, in order to find these schools, I like to utilize my side imaging. Side imaging allows me to see one school, two schools, something like that. And usually when I see one or two, that tells me that there's probably a lot more there. And that's when I bring down the live scope and start checking out for other schools, larger schools. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start by going out to, the, out to the main lake and we're gonna be trolling around just looking for schools of crappie that will show up on side imaging and I'll show you what that looks like. So all I do is I go around with my side imaging, scrolling just like I would a shoreline, looking for these schools of crappie. Really no secret there, folks. Here I am pointing them out. Let's catch some fish. Okay, so we found a bunch of schools. You saw that, about four or five of them immediately. So we come up to our live scope. Now we're searching. And we've got this thing set on basically about 50 foot. There they are. Okay. Okay, they're a lot shallower today for some reason. Interesting. Interesting. So I'm going to put you up on a pole here. We're going to catch a few. Then I'm going to show you some live scope and show you exactly what I'm doing. This is how you catch schools of crappie. This is a new way of fishing for me. It's just exciting. And uh, I don't know what else to say. Awesome stuff. So people are going to ask about the, the setup. So let's talk about the setup. All right. Um, we're looking, we're using six pound line high vis we've got a quarter ounce split shot that's as big as i could find a split shot just to get that weight down there that bait down there as quickly as possible i'm utilizing a loop knot and then right now i'm using a 1 16th ounce head with a jinko fishing bluegrass so you know i got about a foot and a half separating the, the split shot and the bait and uh, i think that's right so you let the split shot go down quick then that bait just follows it and that's usually when you get your strike. All right, so I've located them at 60 foot. And right now I know that they're that way. So all I'm doing is headed to towards them. Now, because they are a little shallower than I like, which is 10 foot, they're at 10 foot right now, I am gonna come into them easily, just really slow. The other play might be just the cast down. There's a big pile of them over there now. Okay, we got a mother load right here. This is good stuff. They're 30 feet out here. And this is just like at a guide trip. What I do is I just point you right in the right direction and usually somebody's sitting right here with me. how it's done let me show you some live scope now so what you're seeing right now is a pile of fish out 
out there in the distance at 50 feet and they're kind of moving but this is such a shallow pile that I'll throw a jig at it instead so anytime those fish are less than nine feet I'd much rather throw a jig at it um, you can sneak up on them Everybody, a lot of people do but there they are right there if you can stay back why not stay back It's within about 30 feet. And there they are. Okay, anytime I don't get a bite real quick like that, I'll go right back to vertical chicken. Monster school. So until you find whatever the right bait is, you're going to get a lot of these short strikes. They're just going to put their nose on it just like it is right here, and then boom, it's a miss. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is that when these fish are shallow like they are right here, when you come on top of them, you're going to make them scatter. You might have a shot at one immediately, so you're targeting only maybe one fish. Maybe not one individual fish, but just hoping to get one fish out of this school. But the smarter play here is definitely to cast at fish that are this shallow. But I'll tell you what, we did put a lot of fish in the boat, and uh, here's one of the bigger fish of the day. But it's a great day. Tons of schools of fish utilizing the live scope system. And again, we're using forward 50, 60, 70 feet to locate these schools. Sometimes you don't have to because there's just so many schools around. But typically, if they're scarce, I'll uh, bring it all the way out to 70 foot forward on live scope to find these schools. That's a pig. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. These fish are shallow. You can see that on, on, come on, buddy. That is a hog right there. So one thing I've totally noticed reviewing my footage is that I do get anxious when I see a school and I want to move up on them really quick. So I've got my trolling motor set up on high. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, you've got to have good boat control. You want to ease into these fish, even if they are at the 12 foot mark, because you will spook them and ultimately that will result in no fish. So even I, I, I need to work on boat control. I need to be able to learn to get into them really easy because um, if you don't, you're, you're ultimately not going to catch a fish. Look at that. See those fish really shallow then start throwing a jig at them you can kind of get up on top of them but that's a small fish but That guy hit it hard, man, that's awesome. It's a beautiful day. Catching a lot of fish, a lot of fish quick. That's a good fish right there. Man, I'll tell you what. So check out, you know, what I'm using for my monitor is the 1042. I know you have a lot of options out there and it can get very confusing. The 1022 would be a $500 uh, less expensive monitor it just doesn't come with the ability to do side imaging and down imaging you'd have to buy a separate module for it 
but the 1042 to me, in my opinion, is the perfect package. I believe it's $1,500, but I think that's the number one question I ever get about LiveScope is which monitor. Uh, it's not the most, it's not the most, uh, it doesn't have the most pixels. I believe the Ultra Series does, but I think it does well for what we're doing. And uh, 1042, folks, 10 inch, that's good. I had a 12 inch. I shipped it back. I said it was too big. Isn't that weird? I mean, I always say the biggest you can you can afford, but uh, honestly, I think the 10 inch is the sweet spot. you have to change your body just to get to the fish if you see where they're at they're right underneath us right now and I don't want to touch my trolley motor it's a beautiful day so you know by the just to let everybody know there's a there's a boat in a fishing show in Marion Illinois and three pound fishing will be doing a seminar on fishing with live scope on brush piles so I'd like to welcome everybody to Marion, Illinois and come out for the show. I believe we're going to be presenting at 1245 on February, I think the 8th, but it's the Sunday. So whatever that is, if, if the Sunday is the 8th, it's the 8th. If it's the 9th, it's the 9th, but it's that Sunday of that weekend. I'd like to invite everybody out. It's basically, we're going to do an episode right there. We've talked about it. We've shared a lot of information um, already about live scope on brush piles, but we figured why not? We're going to do a seminar. It's just fantastic technology. I mean, it really is. We uh, we adopted it in April of this year. Probably one of the first in Southern Illinois. I won't say the first. There were other people that had it, um, but we've been working with it for a very long time. Small one. They look a lot bigger on the screen, I'll tell you that. That's what's interesting about this group right here. All right, we're coming up on a perfect school situation here. They're a little shallow, they're five to 10 feet. Right now they are 40 foot out in front of me. And they're holding pretty tight which I like. They look like they're moving pretty quick, so it's gonna happen really quick. Once they get within that 10 foot range, and you can see them right there, maybe you can't. You probably can't with a GoPro. It's a big school too. So right now we can reach them. They're right here and there. I'm right in the middle of them now. I had one on, damn it. So because they're so shallow, they're scattering right now a little bit. Now normally you would never have an option at the uh, a chance at those type of fish i mean they're moving in a school it would have been one of them lucky things we were casting out there um, but as fast as that school is moving that's really not an opportunity you would have had in the past all right so we got the school again they're just right here Just following those schools around. Good fish. That's a good fish right there. Get 11 incher. All 
All right, we've got a school located in front of us. It's a big school. We're about 40 feet that way, so we're gonna creep up on it. And they are everything from five, there's two schools really, one on top of another, five to, five to 15. So, I try to scroll in a little bit, get them a little tighter, but sometimes it happens so quick you don't have a chance to check, mess with the forward view. But right now I've got it set at 55, and there they are right in front of us now. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. Hey, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Guide trips all winter long. Thanks, folks. Thanks for watching another 3-Pound Fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.